Hello and welcome everyone, Clickan here. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this intro. So there you have the intro that we're going to create. So the first thing you need to do is to start off Adobe After Effects, just like I've done here, and press a new composition. So we're going to name this project Light, and we're going to stick to 10 seconds on this one. So you simply go down here and press OK. And as you can see now, we have a background here for the project. So the first thing we need to add to this is a text. So we're going to simply do that by go over here and go up to new and press text. So here you can type in your name or your logo if you want to. So I'm going to type in name for now and drag it to the middle and size it up a little bit, just like this. And now uh, we're going to add a metal, uh, metal color to this. So we're going to do so by go over here, press file. Go down to import an image and I'm going to choose a metal background here. So you can see it here in the corner as well. So what we're going to do now, uh, simply drag this picture down here just beneath the name layer and we're going to size it up just to cover the whole uh, background. And now we actually want this color here of the background to be in this text instead. So we're going to do that by go down here. Uh, click uh, this uh, button here, toggle switch modes, and now you can see we have a different uh, tool here that we can use. So simply go down here to the picture layer and mark this one and go choose it on alpha matte name instead. And now we can see we have the metal uh, color in the name instead. Uh, so the next thing we need to do, we want to uh, get this name a different shape, so we're going to fix that by more mark these two layers, right click and pre-compose them. So we're going to name this uh, name layer and make sure that this button is marked. Uh, move all attribution into the new composition and press OK. So now we're going to add a uh, effect here that's going to change the edges of this name. So we're going to simply go up here to effects and presence. If you can't find it here, go up to windows and uh, mark it here, then it will appear here in, in the corner. So we'll go up to effects and presence, and uh, we're gonna add a bevel effect to this. And we're gonna choose this one, the bevel alpha effect. So simply drag it to the name, and now we can see we have a different edges on this name. So we're gonna uh, uh, sh change this one, the edge thickness to three, and the light intensity to 0.5 just like this and now the name is uh, is uh, created and uh, it's finished so now we simply want this name to pop up in the background so we're gonna fix that by go down here to the arrow go down to transform and choose the scale tool so what you want to do now uh, mark this stopwatch and uh, change this amount to zero and now you can see we have created a keyframe here by uh, mark this stopwatch so what you simply want to do now is to drag this line on the timeline here to about four seconds and change this amount from zero to 100 just like this and if i start to drag this one the name fades out of the background and if I drag it in the right direction, it will appear. So there we have it. So now we are pretty finished with the name. Now we're going to add a lightning swipe effect to this. So go up here to effects and presence. And uh, type in light swipe. And here we have the effects that we're going to work with. So simply mark this one, drag it to this name layer again. And now we can see we have some lightning here. So we don't want this in this position uh, on this time in the timeline. We want this to swipe over when this name is uh, when we actually can see the name. So we're simply gonna drag this a little bit uh, to about just past four seconds, and we want this to be in this position uh, on this uh, on this timeline. So what we're gonna do? Choose this arrow here and go down to light swipe and choose the center. So make sure that you uh, mark this stopwatch to create a keyframe on this timeline, just like this. And uh, we're simply gonna drag this uh, from this position 
to just pass six seconds, something like this. And we want this in this position instead. So if you can, what you can see now is actually the swiping of the light goes over the name, just like this. But we can't see this so much, so we're gonna change a little bit with this uh, effect. So we're gonna go over here and type in 100 instead, and uh, the swipe intensity 200 as well, just like this. And now we can actually see see it a little bit more. So it's gonna look just like this. Name comes in, and the lightning swipe. And there we have it. There we have it. Uh, what we're gonna add now is a flare that's gonna go just above this background to make this uh, this lightning effect uh, a little bit uh, better. So we're simply gonna close this one, and uh, we're gonna go over here and uh, create a new solid. Go up to new solid. We're gonna name this flare and press OK, and make sure that this layer is a uh, below this name layer, otherwise uh, we, we're just gonna see the flare. So we're gonna go up here to effects and presence and type in flare. We're gonna choose the lens flare and drag it to this flare layer here and now we can see it. So we're gonna go down here to the arrow now, go down to effect and lens flare and we're gonna uh, uh, put it up here, something like this. There we have it. And we want it in this position over here, so make sure that you mark this one to create a keyframe. And we're gonna drag it uh, just to make uh, so we can see the swipe. And in this position, we want it to be over here. So simply gonna drag it just like this. And on this position, we want it over here. So we're gonna drag it like this and just pause this uh, past six seconds we want it over here something like that so now you can actually see it's going over the background something like that it's, it looks pretty cool but uh, in the beginning here we actually don't want it to reveal itself so what we're simply gonna do uh, choose this stopwatch the blend with or original and mark this stopwatch to create a keyframe here drag it up to 100 percent and we want it to appear in this position so simply go over here uh, mark this one to care to create a, another keyframe and you can choose it to reveal itself in this uh, time in the timeline so we're simply going to drag this down to zero percent so now we can actually see we have the name come in, sim, just like this, and the flares comes up, and it starts swiping with with the uh, lightning, and there we have it. And uh, if you want this to fade out as well, uh, just uh, like I have done it, uh, you're gonna choose this one, and mark this again to create another keyframe, and just drag it a little bit more, and just uh, change the amount to 100 again. And now we can actually see we have no flare. The flares comes in and it just swipes over the name and disappears. So there we have it. And now we're gonna add a snowfall to this as well with uh, a different color. So we simply want to go over here to effects and presence again and add type in snowfall. So we're gonna use this CC snowfall and drag it to the flare layer again, something like this. But this don't look very nice, so we're gonna change this flakes amount a little bit, drag it down a little bit to ab just above three thousand, and we're gonna change the size of this to ten. I think looks pretty nice. And the variation size, drag it up to hundred, and the spread. We want this to spread a little bit more, so we just gonna drag this to about 200 and variation of spread drag it up to uh, about 200 and variation to 100 wind we want it to go in this direction so we're gonna type this up to 200 as well 
now you can actually see we have a, a windy snowfall as well and what we want to do more is we want uh, some variation of this wind so we're going to drag this one up to 100% as well and there you can see we have some variants of this and the spread here as well we can drag it up a little bit more to about 30 just like this and there you can see the snowfall as well and if you want, just want this to be uh, a snowfall, you can actually stick with the, this color white. But I'm going to choose uh, just an orange color, something like that, to make it look a little bit more different and just, just a snowfall. So it kind of looks just like this. And there we have the intro. Let's check out how it looks so far. So go up here to preview play current preview the names comes in the flare as well and we have the snowfall yeah and there we have uh, there we have the whole intro that we uh, that we're gonna create so i really hope that you find this tutorial useful and uh, thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you find this tutorial useful. If you do, please give it a thumb up. And don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, Click an Official, for more gameplay and tutorials. Until next time, boys and girls, take care now. Bye bye then.